You're an electrician, and you've just installed SmartLink ELEC, which will turn your client's electrical panel into a communicating system. To configure SmartLink ELEC in just a few clicks, you will need Config ELEC, a smartphone app that you can download from the App Store or Google Play. Schneider Electrics Wifer, available for purchase via your distributor of electrical material. SmartLink ELEC has seven digital input-output channels to connect different types of auxiliaries such as breaker status auxiliary, control and indication auxiliary for contactor, control and indication auxiliary for impulse relay, as well as energy and water meters. SmartLink ELEC also has one analog channel, which allows connection to environmental sensors for temperature, humidity, or CO2. To connect your smartphone to SmartLink ELEC, connect the Wi-Fi to the Ethernet port of SmartLink using the RJ45 cable. Make sure that the electrical panel is switched off during this operation. Turn on the Wi-Fi and select its corresponding network in the Wi-Fi settings of your smartphone. The network name and password can be found under the Wi-Fi cover. Your smartphone is now connected to SmartLink. You can now run the Config ELEC application. Select the smart link detected by the application. The Need Help button and information bubbles in the application will guide you throughout the configuration process. In case of a problem, you can also use the Call Support feature, which is available in the main menu. You can now configure the different inputs and outputs of SmartLink. For example, to configure Channel 1 with a breaker status auxiliary, Start by selecting the channel number, then choose the corresponding auxiliary from the list. Select the label of the related equipment from the predefined list, or customize it by giving it a name and an icon of your choice. Validate the configuration. Open and close the device in the electrical panel to verify that the corresponding status is correctly indicated in the Diagnosis section. Trip the breaker status auxiliary in the electrical panel to verify that the trip status is correctly indicated in the diagnosis section. Now you can close the page and move to the next channel. To configure a control and indication auxiliary for contactor or for impulse relay on channel 2 for example, select the corresponding auxiliary, specify its label and validate the configuration. To test the auxiliary, use the on-off slider in the diagnosis section and verify in the electrical panel that the contactor or impulse relay opens and closes accordingly. To configure an energy meter on channel 4, for example, select the corresponding meter from the list, specify its label, verify that the number of pulses per kilowatt hour corresponds to the parameters of the meter and validate the configuration. The energy consumed by the circuit is instantly displayed in the Diagnosis section. You can install two energy meters per channel. Finally, configure the environmental sensors that are connected to the analog input numbers 8.1 or 8.2. Choose the type of sensor and specify its label. Specify the measurement unit of the sensor. Then, specify the measurement range of the sensor. Validate the configuration and verify that the value in the Diagnosis section is correct. Once all the channels are configured, click on the Finalize button. Congratulations! You have now finished the SmartLink configuration. Once the installation is complete, unplug the Wi-Fi and connect the SmartLink to the client's internet router. We would recommend you help your clients install their dedicated SmartLink ELEC application and help them create their account. Don't forget to leave the quick start guide with your customer. It can be found in the SmartLink packaging. Your clients can now monitor and control their electrical installation from their smartphone. With Config ELEC, configuring SmartLink ELEC is simple.